we'll, we're going to go down there. And so here it comes, and, and Martha with her religious selves comes running. Well, let me just read you part here. Let me see here. I like this right here. So, so Lazarus is dead. Lazarus is dead. He's been in the tomb four days. Four days. And it's hot over there. And so here it is. We'll pick up the story. So Jesus, again, you know what? Martha comes out and gives her little religious speech, you know, and Jesus, not, not, you know, they kind of have a little conversation about it. But when Mary comes out, Jesus weeps. Jesus is moved. And both of them say the exact same thing. Martha comes out, Lord, if you've been here, my, my brother had not died. But she said, what exact words? Lord, if you've been here, my brother had not died. She said, Martha, if you believe in me, I'm the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will, will rise again. Now, even if he dies, he'll live. And, and so he goes over her head. And then here comes Mary. Mary says this, Lord, if you've been here, my brother had not died. Said the same thing. Jesus wept and was moved with compassion. And, and, and so that's where we pick up the story. So it says in verse 38, So Jesus, again being deeply moved within, came to the tomb. Now it was a cave, and a stone was lying against it. And Jesus said, Remove the stone. Remove the stone. Now, now to me, the stone now represents the law. The Ten Commandments. Written in great no stone. Handwriting of God. As Elvis talked about, whenever the woman in the adultery came, I've been to that place. It's, it's stone. Jesus knelt down on the ground and wrote in stone with his finger. Like he was saying, it don't say what he said, but I, I like to think about it, put myself there. Everybody's got their own opinion. My opinion is, he was really saying, look, you're going to try to trip me up with this law? I wrote this law. Amen. <laughs> and so the stone represents the law. Jesus says, remove the stone. Now here's Martha. Listen to Martha. Martha, the sister of the deceased, said to him, Lord, by this time there will be a stench, for he's been dead four days. And the see, this is what I hear. This is what I hear when I tell you, hey, you've been born again, you're no longer under the law. You're no longer under the law. Hey, you're no longer under the law. Now religious folks will say, you, you can't tell people that. They'll just go live like hell and sin all they want. Sin don't matter. And you just say and turn people loose. And, and, and you, you can't tell them that. You got to use fear to manipulate them. You got to threaten them to get them to behave for one more week until next Thursday. I mean, scare them to pieces. Tell them if they're not here but next Thursday, if they're not here and they're dressed a certain way, you're going to go to hell. But until the stone's removed, there'll be no life coming. All we can pretend. Lord, by this time there will be a stench. For he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, did I not say to you that if you believe, and you see, this is this is a, this is what I like. You tell people that they're no longer under the law. I'm not saying you're not under the law no more, and there's no Jesus and nothing else, no other power. Just get out from under the law and don't worry about it. See you. I'm saying get out from under the law and get under Jesus. Amen. Yeah. And he said, "Did I not say to you that if you believe?" You will see the glory of God. So they removed the stone. Then Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you've heard me. I knew that you always hear me. But because of the people standing around, I said it so they may believe that you sent me. When he had said these things, he cried out with a loud voice. Cried out with a loud voice. Lazarus, come forth. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, can you imagine? Because I know what we'd be like. We'd like, what if it don't work? I mean, he's putting it all on the line. What if it don't work? They've rolled the stone away. It's supposed to be stinking. 
And, and he says, hey, from out, from, from out behind the stone, now life can happen. So he says, hey, I just thought about the power. Can you imagine the power if you stand in there? Just think about it. Jesus says, Lazarus, it's a dead guy now. It's a dead guy. He's dead. He's talking to a dead guy. And he says, hey, come out of there. Now, can you imagine how much power there is in there? Can you imagine being there? I mean, the stone rolled away. I don't know how big it was, but I'm telling you, I'm, te I'm telling you, death was defeated that day, and there was something going on. I, I say some of them probably got, got the shakes, and whoa, 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 this is something else. Mm -hmm. Here's what I want to tell you. Here's what I come to tell you. Y'all better go sing. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I ain't quit. You got to get this. When you realize that the stone's been rolled away, that you're no longer under the law, there's just as much power in what you say. Amen. It says that he nailed that law to the cross. That's right. He nailed it to the cross. That way, that way even if you get born again and you still gonna live under the law, you know, it said we read there where Paul said Christ is bailing you nothing. But if you'll know that the stone's been rolled away and that you're no longer living under the law, that means the thing that was there to present you guilty has been taken out of your way. That's why they call it freedom. That's what makes the gift bigger. That's what makes the cross so powerful. Because now, I can no longer be declared guilty. Amen. Guess what? I failed today. Guess what? I'll fail tomorrow. But the law's been taken out of my life. I'm no longer under the law. I'm led by the Spirit. And He'll lead me on into better things. He'll lead me on into getting stronger. He'll lead me on into life. He'll lead me on into power. But now that I'm no longer under the law, you see, the only place the devil can mess with you is where there's law. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that's big right there. You know, in the garden, the only place that the devil could tempt Eve is where God said, do not eat. The only place the devil had power to tempt Eve is the place there was law. God said, do not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. How come the devil wasn't tempting her over here to eat the peach tree over there? Because there wasn't no law against it. The only strength in the place that the devil has to wreck and ruin and tempt you in your life and to get you messed up is where there's law. Amen. When there is no law, you cannot be declared guilty. You are no longer under the law. Do we really realize what that means? We've been set free. Now every time the devil comes up tapping you on the shoulder saying, Hey, look, look at you. You're supposed to be saved. Look at you. You're supposed to be going to church. Now, I've seen what you did. Look at you. you... I ain't under the law, buddy. Hey, my righteousness and my blessing is not dependent on whether I lived right or done right or lived holy or produced holy. It has nothing to do with me and my performance. I, I've been born again. That means the first time I was born, yeah, I was messed up and I was under that system. But I got born again, I'm no longer under that system. I got what I got because He loves me. He said He qualified me. He, he justified me. He, he took my old account. He took my account. You looked up Jason for me and it was, uh-oh, no good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. But what He done was He took my account, nailed it to the cross, slid His account right in on mine. And now when I look at my account, the devil said, tries to tell me, huh? I'll say, what are you talking about? Just don't say that. You better get it. I've been set free. That's right. I can know, hey, you've been set free. You can't be declared guilty no longer. Hey, tell that devil, I'm free. I'm free. Oh, uh, you going he, he ain't gonna move off that. You're gonna have to tell him I'm free. I'm free. Hey, hey, he can't declare 
swear us guilty no more. If he can get you feeling guilty, he'll he'll work on you a little bit. But you start saying, I'm free. Hey, I got the Holy the Holy's inside of me. It's not coming by my performance, it's coming by my faith. The presence of God is right here. God. The biggest. The baddest. The strongest. The most undefeated. He's right here. Hey, that ought to scare every devil. Uh, you better suck on it.